Zolo Tech. Today I have a case from a company I wasn't really familiar with to begin with. Uh, SF Bags for San Francisco Bags. Um, this is actually <coughs> from Waterfield Designs. Now, the cool thing about this, before I even open this, the cool thing about this is this is the first case I've had that they let you know it's made in America. Now that may or may not be a concern to you, but I certainly appreciate it as more and more stuff is coming from overseas and uh, if it were my preference I'd pay a little more to buy from America. That's just me because you know I'm here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is called the suede jacket. So let's go ahead and open it and see what we've got in here. <coughs> Now we're going to be doing a written review also where you can see some more close-up pictures, um, see how it held up. I'm going to use it for a little bit and uh, we'll see how it holds up over time, if it collects lint, that sort of thing. So here's the case. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so your suede jacket may feel a little snug at first, but ultra suede has great stretch memory. The fit will get more comfortable over time. If you want to expedite the process, gently stretch the case with two fingers inside. Go step, go step by step so you don't overstretch. Over uh, here's questions you can email. That looks like that's it. And they throw this card in. <coughs> Waterfield bags are designed and made in San Francisco, where rent is high, labor expensive, and competition is intense. We wouldn't go anywhere else. So that's really cool. Um, they give their phone number, their site, and they have a bunch of other accessories. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they have a bunch of other accessories that they, that they uh, have on their site. So let's take a look at this. It's real soft. It, it's not like your typical suede. Well, maybe it is, and I'm just not familiar with high quality suede. This has got like a nylon pouch on it. On their site they show, you know, stick your headphones in here. <coughs> the uh, the stitching is really nice. Uh, you can see the, uh, I don't know the stitch names, but um, you know, they're evenly spaced. I don't see any little things dangling off, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't uh, clipped, you know, that might pull out later. You know, you get a shirt that's Made made poorly, you see that sometimes. The stitching inside is nice; it's really soft. Um, and let's see how this how this fits in here. So I've got my phone here ready to go, and let's see how easy that goes in. I have to give it a little bit of force, and like it says, it might stretch. It doesn't take a lot of force, but it fits in there perfectly. You can see it keeps it thin. Now, if you've uh, watched any of my videos before. I prefer, I've been using this Senna leather case, I prefer a thin pouch uh, to a case or whatever. I like the thinness of the iPhone. I throw this in my right pocket and I, you know, and I'm ready to go. I don't like to carry this, I don't throw it in a bag or anything like that, so I like to have it as thin as possible so I don't notice it when it's there. And uh, it certainly keeps it thin. You can see how thin that is. So here we have a little pouch. We can throw uh, our headphones in, a USB adapter, dock connector, whatever. You can see it, it looks like it, uh, well, it's stretched and returned. You can see that. That's pretty neat, this elastic. It's like elastic nylon or something. I'm not really sure what that's made of. Uh, but you can see, it's nice and black. And obviously, like I said, we'll see how it wears over time. You know I like to do follow-ups, and we'll do one of these uh, later on at some point. But there's going to be a written review at Zolotech.com under the review section. So definitely check that out um, in a few days after we've used this for a little bit. I'll use it for a couple days. Um, we'll see how it collects lint. You know, that's one nice thing about leather is it doesn't really collect lint. But this keeps the phone well protected. Obviously, it doesn't have a lot of shock protection. But uh, most people don't drop these that much, at least the people I know that have them. They, they may bump them into something, you know, but they're not going to drop them. And uh, they're pretty durable by themselves. So to get this out, we can just push the bottom. It slides really easy, but it's not easy enough where this just comes right off. I mean, you have to give it a little bit of a pull. I don't think you could shake it and get it out of there. Uh, but overall, it's a really nice case. Uh, it's cut perfectly on the top, so if you dropped it this way, chances are it's going to fold over uh, before it hits anything directly. 
Um, pretty nice though. I mean, stitching wise, it's probably, it's along the line of uh, the Senna cases. I mean, right here I have one. You can see the stitching is perfect. Uh, the stitching on this, I mean, this doesn't have anything hanging off it. I mean, there's not any little, I mean, not even inside, I didn't see any. Uh, there's not anything hanging inside, any little uh, loose threads or anything. So, really well paid attention to as far as detail goes, uh, which is something, obviously, you always want to check out. Um, so, I mean, there's not a whole lot more to say about this. It's a nice pouch case. We'll see how it does. In, you know, I throw it in my pocket, like I said. This is nice enough to hold whatever you have that will fit in there. Uh, it is going to rest a little bit against the screen, so you don't want anything too crazy or to put any weight on this. Uh, but other than that, I mean, if you're throwing a couple of credit cards even, something like that, that would be nice. So check them out. Definitely check these guys out, being made in the United States, if that's a, a consideration. I know it is for me. Um, these are, uh, I, I just keep looking at, I just keep thinking San Francisco because I know that's where it's made. But sfbags.com and uh, Waterfield Design. You can see their, their logo here. Uh, check them out. This is the suede jacket, and they also have a bunch of other products. We have another one we'll be checking out uh, in a day or so. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.